Hey everyone, welcome in a new tutorial in uh, Rust with Mina. And here we are practicing Rust and building uh, applications um, from like simple applications to in the future we'll build complex stuff. In this new tutorial, I will uh, use what we have learned on the previous tutorial from like building a CLI command, uh, using IO operations, like opening a file, etc. And then I will build on top of that in this tutorial to have uh, or to build an application called uh, service logger and service logger is a tiny CLI application that its purpose is taking a message from the environment and injecting this message into a file into a flat file uh, so we will pass it we will pass to it a file path and a message and what it will do it will just open the file and then append uh, the message in the future this is like um, a foundation or a base or a representation of a concept and then in the future we can iterate on that and enhance it a bit to instead of like writing to a local flat file we can make it try to file in the cloud to a google document ss3 bucket and stuff like that um, also this type of applications uh, is me trying to explore the world of uh, DevEx, developer experience and platform engineering. It's, um, it's a very interesting field and I found it like it's a good opportunity to explore and build things in this or in that space while like learning and practicing Rust. Um, without further talking, let's start. Uh, I'm here on my directory for the demo. I'm also in this tutorial I'm using github so I you would notice like I will be committing and you will check how like I'm doing commits commit messages and branching and so on and I will use this uh, forward in all of my upcoming tutorials so let me uh, first would my open my code editor this code and then like let me run cargo run as usual to make sure that uh, everything works good so yes we have the base one working and as usual we will have our like to-do list in the to-do list first thing we need to uh, and as you notice like my, i have my uh, bare programmer copilot working with me so for the first task we, we need to accept uh, arguments and for the second task we need to uh, define Define like a file path and a message variables, and the third one is instead of like reading a file, I'll just open a file for appending, and we'll iterate on that later on. And then the final thing is write the message to a file, and uh, the final one. After writing the message, we need to like check the results. Like we'll open the file and check what's happening. With it. So this is the checklist for this uh, first episode in the tutorial. So, and also in the previous tutorial, I learned a, a method or an approach of like I build the whole thing, I prove my idea right and I build the code that is working fine and proving the idea and then I go in the upcoming uh, episodes and refactor this for clean code and code structure code structure and so on I love this approach I have also a couple of uh, messages on LinkedIn uh, trying this approach and they like it so I will just do it uh, one more time uh, today so let's first accepting the arguments to accept the arguments from the terminal as we saw before I'll just use the standard uh, env uh, create standard library environment uh, and then I'll just define args and as I mentioned before if you're gonna define args you need to uh, annotate annotate the in result and here I have env args and this collects all or gets all the strings from the environment and this is an iterator 
and then I call collect and collect is like the module that consumes the iterator and return the, the vector string to the args. So I have I have now my args. Let me let me define the file pass. So the file pass will be argument one and it's not zero because like zero as we mentioned in the previous tutorial, zero will be clocked for the instantiator itself to the application itself it will contain the source of the the application the the destination of the application and then i will define the message to the message will be in this case argument three and then i have the file and the message let me just confirm that everything is working fine and here yeah and as you can see so let me run it Yes, because I didn't pass any arguments, so it panics. So I, this time I will pass like this uh, here, like this is a file path. And also this is a message. And yeah, and all good. So now we captured the file path and the message from the user. Let me check this task this one and yeah this first two tasks now we have to open a file for appending and just to help you focus and like solidify the information I just disable my copilot for a minute and then uh, if you remember from the previous tutorial to open a file we use the standard uh, file system crate and this time we're not just opening the file and returning a handler i will define a handler for appending to the file what appending mean appending means as if like the cursor where every time you open the file and return a handler the cursor will move to the end of the file and then any message will be added there and so on and so on so you will be always writing to the end of the file you are not overwriting uh, the stuff you have in the file so here I'll define like uh, let let uh, maybe file one and it must be mutable. Let file one because I don't like uh, short names. So file one. This will be equal file system and then I'll use open with options and open with options. Then I'll call like a new the associated. Uh, method new and then with new I'll just pass it yeah I need to append and this is will be set to true so this is as if it's a flag I am telling it like I need to append and the second flag I need to create so and this is as well as true this means if you couldn't find the file create one without panicking if you didn't pass create create if it tried to open the file and didn't find it it will panic and return an error so I have a bend I have create and final one uh, and open uh, like the file path I or the user passed from the uh, terminal and for sure I will use the question mark for uh, error handling or because I don't have error handling I like it won't it, I don't have yet anything to catch this error and return it to the user so it will bubble up and here my main function won't return anything that's why it was complaining I believe so on here I'll just use unwrap for direct panicking. So if we are good now, we should have like a file handler uh, for appending to a flat file. Now let me write, let me, I'll use the micro uh, write, uh, write line because I want to just write line to the file and I'll pass it like the file uh, handler I have and then I'll pass it a formatted message a formatted message and I believe yeah it's complaining because we need to use the standard IO I believe right yeah I believe that's it so let's let's test it out okay what is the file yeah here file path okay let's test this clear and then I'll just cargo run separator I'll pass it like 
let's name the file uh, test.txt and then this is my first message and let's see so we have here we have the file and yeah as you can see this is my first message let's test it one more time to make sure it's not overwriting and just uh, call my previous one but just change the value and as you can see it's like second so this is lovely and this checks like yeah we open this for pending or the message and we check the results so this is my or this is the proof of concept of a service logger and this service logger can be used with any team from your uh, colleagues and uh, team team members and this can use to like write anything to files um, in the upcoming episodes we will refactor this code into more structured uh, code and then we will also have like um, error handling and unit testing and so on so let me just commit this so you can find it if you are following the tutorial okay get so i'll just add the source name and here okay uh let's commit the message will be like now we add uh, a proof of concept for the service lower and then we, what we added exactly we added uh, accepting arguments and we as well added a opening a file for pending and as well we we added uh, finding thing like uh, writing to a file i think that's it okay i think that's it for the uh, first uh, episode i hope uh, you like it and it adds value to you and in the upcoming episodes we will just go refactor this one chunk of code into a more structured so we can have a more clean uh, maintainable and documented code that you can use in your day-to-day uh, -day work thanks for watching so far i hope you are uh, enjoying uh, the content uh, and it adds value to you if you think i should improve something or you have any comment on the quality of the materials, the, the type of the materials, and everything I'm doing, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn, here on the comments, on YouTube, or anywhere. I'm open to uh, feedback and I'm always open to enhance uh, my skills and my uh, teaching skills in specific and adding more value with time. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the coming tutorial. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.